We're the Lockwoods, and we're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise be consuming only through textbooks and TV. After spending the past week in Florence and Milan, we're leaving Italy and traveling to a killer two-bedroom suite in the heart of Paris by train that takes seven hours and gets us into the city late enough that we'll be cramming into a temporary room for the night and completing our journey about 24 hours from now. Will this trip feel like a scenic and relaxing journey through the French countryside? Or a never-ending trek with eight bags and a couple of tired and hungry kids? We're about to find out. The Milan train station is the second largest in Europe. It's next to Rome. And it was constructed in 1930s, early 1930s. And the size and dominance of the exterior is meant to represent the dominance of then Prime Minister Mussolini. Our train doesn't leave for about 30 minutes, which should be plenty of time, because they don't even list which track your train is gonna leave from until about 15 minutes before. But it's also tricky, you definitely can't be late when you come to the train station because they don't wait for anybody. So we're train 9252, I don't see it yet. It makes us so unsure about what we're doing uh, because we still don't see our number up, so we're gonna ask somebody if they can help us, just to be sure. Oh my God, we are at the wrong train station. I am so happy that we asked. Now we need to book it. I had no idea we were at a, a totally different train station. Oh my God. We booked it. We got a cab and it's about five minutes away, but we are cutting really, really short on time. Train leaves in about 15 minutes. Really, really, really wish us luck. We don't want to miss this train. Our cab driver thinks we can make it, so that's a good sign. We can do this, we can do this. Platform one, one, we are rushing. And I think our train is right there. Oh, cutting it close. We made it. And this is, you know, to say you need to be early, never cut it close because you never know. With all the planning and the advanced details we try to get into, things can sometimes be missed and obviously this was a big one. So now we're at the right train station, we're on the right train, we have our seats, we're ready to go. It's a seven hour trip and this is a high speed train so that's actually fairly fast to get from Milan to Paris. I can't say that I'm a fan of trains so far. Two experiences on this trip so far and both of them have kind of been nail biters. Even going from Florence to Milan it was a little tricky because we got onto the train, couldn't figure out what was going on with our seats because we had the same seat numbers that some other passengers had. We both looked and both had the same stuff. Nobody around, no gate agents, no flight attendants or anything like that, nobody to ask. So we ended up just sitting somewhere else and found out part way through that the reason the problem existed is because they had changed out the actual train after we got our tickets. So it's a whole different configuration. So they had new seats for us, nobody sent us new tickets, no way for us to figure it out really. Everything worked out just fine but such seems to be the nature of train travel. I've also never been a big fan of subways. I think it's all just endlessly confusing when you're used to commercial air travel, but maybe we'll get used to it. And to put things in perspective, these tickets cost us approximately 130 euro per person. So it was over $500 total. The first class seats, and I think that the standard seating starts about 30 euro per person. So you can save a lot of money. We figured it was a good investment because otherwise we'd be flying and it would have cost us a lot, lot more. Hey Brooklyn. Yeah? Tell me three things you like better about train travel than air travel. Probably one, you don't need seat belts on a train. Two, there's bigger trays. And three, you get free Wi-Fi. What do you think about train versus flying? Flying is a hundred times better. Because it's faster and better and more less hungry. <laughs> and that does remind me that we have an unanswered question. Uh, even looking it up, it was very unclear with a seven hour train ride, is there gonna be any meal service? And we're anticipating snacks and drinks maybe, but seven hours is a long time without a meal. And we're off on our way. Six minutes late? I thought trains never left late. Not on our account. We were here 
by 2.10 when it was supposed to be. With such a long ride, I'm surprised that there are only two stops between Milan and Paris. First one, I think it's Turin, and that's why we're going through the mountains, and it's beautiful. Nice scenery to get some work done. Kids are getting hungry. I think Aaron is also, and I could go for a drink. And we found a little menu. Apparently there's a food and drink car, so we're gonna go find it. This is what I wanna have on first class on airplanes. So it's uh, one pizza, one cheeseburger, one croissant, two M&M's, one Prosecco, and four bottles of water. Sounds good. Perfect. Yeah. It's not just a snack bar, it actually has a kitchen back there. So there's hot food, cold food, drinks, and some snacks. So big variety. Also drinks. Feels very happy. And I suppose I'm the unpopular one. I like this way better than flying. I'm, the departure times are way more reliable. Uh, we like to be early, but that's because we are big fans of punctuality. It's so much more relaxing. There's no turbulence. The seats are more comfortable, a lot more room. I'd say the only downside is that it takes longer, but I'm okay with that. You can get more done. Kids are actually working on school right now. It's a good excuse for it. And that's actually a very good point, because even if it's the same amount of time that you're spending traveling to an airport, uh, going through security, going through check-in, and walking to your gates, and then flying and everything, compared to just being on a train the whole time, here it's actually like functional time. You can get stuff done, you can be productive, because you're not running all over the place dealing with people, you're in your seat the whole time. That's right! We found out that we were at the wrong train station 20 minutes before it was supposed to leave. So we just got to the station, walked right on, uh, there was very little in um, uh, process to, to get on and off. In fact, I don't think anybody's checked our tickets yet. Yeah, let's see. Those Prosecco's getting hot right under the pizza. <laughs> You know what? Looks like Daddy stuck this in. This is Griffin's. And this one's for you, Phil. This is soft. First up is Torino. And we're just getting there now, so it's been about an hour and a half. Wooden utensils is a great, another plus to the train is that it's better for the environment. Big plus for us, love it. It's just a plain marguerite pizza. It's not great. I'm not gonna give it any Michelin stars but it's better than airplane food. And so much more selection. Well, we're officially in France now, Modana, just over the border from Italy, and uh, they finally came by and checked our tickets, by the way, so no freebies on this trip. It's starting to get dark out. I think we're gonna take some naps pretty soon, but I'm gonna go get Brooklyn another croissant. And uh, we've still got a couple of online school lessons for her to do before really calling it quits for the night. Our next stop is actually something special to Phil and I. A little over a year ago, we had gone to Lyon to do a river cruise tour, and that's where our next stop is. We're a bit more than halfway through, maybe four hours into it, so three left to go, and we've lost the kids. They have zonked out, and I'm not sure what we're gonna do about bedtime tonight, because we get in pretty late, and I bet they won't be tired anymore. As far as differences go between flying and training, here are a couple of other benefits on the training side. Number one, we have the food and drink car where you can get basically anything you want to eat without being subject to the whims or policies of the airline. Uh, so whether you want to hydrate or dehydrate or eat, like you can go get another pizza every 10 minutes if you want to on here just by walking back to that car. Number two, you get to keep all of your luggage with you. Nothing's down below, so anything that you forget, anything that you pack, you have access to. And number three, when it comes to sound, like it's so much quieter on this train than it is on any flight we've ever been on. So you can have conversations. I mean, you could probably do conference calls. I've seen that on TVs and movies. Um, but it's really easy to be able to do anything that you want to do without having all of that background noise, including recording video. I love that we can stretch our legs because there's no seatbelt sign. Just over seven hours later, we are rolling into Paris. Was it so bad, Colt? Do you like it better than flying now? Kind of, because it's not as rough slash turbulence. There's no turbulence on a train track. <laughs> Brooklyn, what do you think? We would have got here in three hours if we took a plane. That's 
It's true. So I guess speed is Brooklyn's thing. Comfort is my thing, so I enjoyed it. When you're on the train, you really need to be ready to go and get off when it stops because they don't take long at the stations. So that's why everybody's standing up and we're not quite there yet. Uh, we've got four of our bags that we're going to have to get down and get off as soon as we get there. Thank you, baby. Woo! Oh, it feels good to stretch our legs and have some fresh air. So now we've got to figure out how to navigate out of the train station, get a cab, and get to our hotel for the night. Okay, taxi this way. It just hit me! We're in Paris! Honestly, this is way easy. You just get off the train, you already have your bags, and we walk out. Here we are. And the line is actually kind of long for the taxi. It's the only downside right now. Hopefully it moves fast. This has been a really long day for us, but we're really excited to get to our Hotel Castile. It is a five-star hotel, and we did not pay a single dime out of pocket for it. We used our Platinum Business American Express card, and that even got us an upgrade when we checked in. So instead of just one studio room, we have a two-room suite, so the kids can sleep in a separate room. It's gonna be much more comfortable and spacious for us. We're only here for one night, so stick with us. We're checking into our Inspirato Hotel tomorrow night, and that is gonna be fantastic, so please watch us and come along. We are exhausted. It is way past our bedtime. We'll see you tomorrow. We are the Lockwoods. Aaron, Phil, Reagan, Brooklyn, and cold. We're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise be consuming only through textbooks and TV. We think it's a better way to learn and we're working hard to fund this little experiment in the hope that our kids will grow up wiser, kinder, and more grateful for the beauty of our diverse planet and its people. 